In this video, we're going to share with you all of the costs associated with sailing from the Great Lakes, Canada, all the way to the Atlantic Ocean, right near New York City. And we're going to go in detail about our food costs, fuel costs, dock costs, alcohol costs, boat-related costs, and some miscellaneous costs. And make sure to stay to the end, where we're going to tally up a total. As always, we took our time sailing down the Erie Canal and onto the Hudson River, covering roughly 514 nautical miles. It took us 25 days to travel from Port Colborne on Lake Erie down to Atlantic Highlands or Sandy Hook. And there are other ways of reaching the Atlantic Ocean. You can always go up the Welland Canal into Lake Ontario and all the St. Lawrence River, but that would take way longer. And make sure to subscribe not to miss our future videos on area specific costs. Food costs were $352. We mainly eat on the boat, so most of our food costs were spent doing some groceries. My parents even bought us some groceries. And we had a bunch of non perishable stuff that we brought from Canada. And we also got some food from our lovely friends from G Dock. And we went out a couple of times. Alan and Kirsten spoiled us. My parents spoiled us as well. And then when we were in Kingston, we had a free dock if we went and ate at the old Savannah restaurant. And in New York, we had to try a bunch of different street food. So we splurged. Fuel cost us $165. We don't use much diesel fuel, so at a half gallon an hour, it doesn't really cost as much. We also did some sailing down the Hudson River, but unfortunately the wind was right on the bow most of the time. We also did some sailing in New York Harbor, and while we were in New York, that was our first time using our dinghy. Docks cost us $54. We didn't spend much money on docking because most of them were free along the Erie Canal with and without power and the two that we spent money were only 14 or $10 a night and then a few of them were donation based and when we got in the Hudson River we spent most of it at anchor except one free dock in Kingston. And then once we got to New York City, we decided that it would be cheaper or easier to just get a mooring ball for $30 for the night and be right next to Manhattan instead of spending $26 just for the dinghy dock. Make sure to hit that bell notification if you'd like one more notification that you just can't help but ignore. Alcohol costs us $55. We don't drink a whole lot. But we did buy a little alcohol. Most of it came earlier in our trip and we still had some left over. Plus Alex's parents came down and spoiled us a little bit and brought some more alcohol. As well as Kirsten and Alan who came to visit us and brought us some goodies as well. We also did a wine tasting in Lockport with cheese which was really quite nice. Our boat related costs were $88. Old boats always have something to fix. So we spent some things on bolts and lines. We had to step our mast. And since we like to do things cheap, it cost us $55 to step the mast ourselves in Castleton on the Hudson. There's a video up in the card at the top or down in the description of us stepping our mast. And miscellaneous costs were $124. Most of the costs was for our monthly data plan with T-Mobile, which was $70 for the month to be able to upload videos. And we also spent a little bit of money on some laundry, postcards, stamps, a couple of little things like this. And we had to do our very first pump out on the Hudson for $5. To recap, here are all our costs associated with this portion of our trip. In total, it cost us $838 to sail from the Erie Canal to the Atlantic Ocean. Click here for a playlist on more cost-related content. And click here for a video about how much does it cost to sail from New York City to the Delaware and Chesapeake Bay.